This is a guide to controlling your PC or Mac from your iPhone or iPad. When I say control in this context, what I mean is using your iPhone as if it's a trackpad and keyboard. We'll be using an app called Hippo Remote. There is a pro version and a free version. With the free version you can get everything set up and see how it feels. The pro version does have some useful extra features which I'll go into in a little bit more depth later. This might be useful if you have a PC or Mac feeding out to a big screen TV and you want to sit back on your sofa uh, browsing YouTube or video files without actually having to get up and go to your keyboard. Um, you can get around it by having a wireless keyboard and mouse and taking it back and forth but it's a bit of a hassle. Whereas with this it's just really cool to be able to control your PC from your iPhone. So this is the Hippo Remote app. I'll show you the free version first which has the basic functionality. Be aware because it's free there will be ads pop up at the bottom of the iPhone screen. Now I'll connect it to my PC. I've done this before so it remembers the connection and the password from a previous session and I don't need to re-enter anything. Now that it's connected to my iPhone, my iPhone is controlling my mouse as if it were a trackpad. If I open up Chrome for instance, I can go into the search bar at the top, open the uh, keyboard on the iPhone, type in a website like YouTube, close out of that, and now I can browse around. What this also has is this little area at the bottom of the iPhone screen acts as a scroll bar so you can scroll up and down. Now I can go to websites like the Geek and Sundry channel, see if there's any new recent content. This is all available in the free version of the app. Now there is some additional functions which you can do on the pro version which I'll show you now. So if I exit out of this and load up the Hippo Remote Pro, reconnect to the PC. Now the pro version has these macros which can be set to different bits of software. The one that's set up at the moment is Windows 7 so if I hit the start button it open up, opens up the start menu. If I just exit out of that you have other ones set up for different bits of software. There's one for Chrome as well. These are all pre-installed. Now I've got that one for Chrome. If I hit the tab bar function I can create a new tab like that. Go back, close it down. And what you can also do is program your own. Now the ones I've got set up are because of my monitor configuration, so if I hold down the tab bar area at the bottom, I have these different options set up. And I'll show you what these do in just a moment. For me, the macros in Hippo Remote Pro are really useful. I have a multi-monitor display, and I use AMD's Catalyst Control Center to have shortcuts set up so I can switch between different monitor configurations. So I can have just the TV being output to, or the two monitors, or all three. Now with the Hippo Remote app, I can set up these as macros, so all I have to do is hold down the macros bar at the bottom and then press Just TV, and it outputs to Just the TV. Or I can switch it to Just the monitors, and the monitors pop up. Or just set it back to all three. For me, that's what makes the Pro version very, very useful. The free version is fine, and the basic functionality, being able to use that as a trackpad and keyboard, is very good, but the Pro version makes it just that bit better. Now I'll show you how to install it. The first thing to do is install the app on your iPhone. If you go to the App Store and search for Hippo Remote, there should be two options, Hippo Remote Lite and Hippo Remote Pro. Click the buy or install option on the one you wish. Now at the time of recording this, the pro version is $4.99 in the US App Store and £2.99 in the UK App Store. The app is a na native iPhone app which means you can install it on the iPad but it will be in compatibility mode. That's where you have the small iPhone sized screen in the middle of the iPad which you can zoom into. On most apps this is a problem but on this one it actually gives you just more screen real estate to use as a trackpad. Once you've installed the app, you also need to install some software on your computer for it to connect to. And I'll show you how to do that now. This is how to install the Hippo Remote software on your PC. First go to hipporemote.com, 
and then when you've got the website opened up go to setup and here you'll find the download link for Windows and just click here to download the exe file once that's downloaded click to open it click run then choose the folder you want it actually installed into I'll go see program files hit extract now click the Windows key and the R button to open the run dialog type C program files <clears throat> then you'll find the hippo VNC folder if you go into that and run the software which is winvnc.exe comes up with these options you can ignore them all except for the VNC password set a password uh, to use for your iPhone to log in we'll just do one two three four for this click OK and now hippo remote will be running just down there and if I just try it on my iPhone and click hippo remote and now I've got my computer here which is Nexus Blue listed I click on that type in the passcode one two three four done and now I've got control of my mouse from my iPhone if I go back to Google Chrome just hit there, open up the keyboard, go to YouTube, go to Geek and Sundry, and you can see it's all working. Now to install it so that it runs whenever you open up Windows, if you go down to the menu down here and find the hippo remote icon which is green because it's connected at the moment right click on it and just click install service and that will now start up each time you open windows there you go all installed so this is how to install the hippo remote software on a mac first go to the hippo remote.com website then click on setup scroll down and find your version of mac os x in my case it's 10.7 click to download the uh, hippo connect file when it's downloaded just show in finder when the finder pops up if you double click on the file it'll export the actual executable file and if you drag that into applications it will now be part of your application setup and you can launch it by either going through the applications folder or going through your uh, launch pad which in my case puts it just there click to run it it asks you to are you sure because you've downloaded it for web click open and there's hippo connect just switch it on and it'll ask you for a password so if we set one two three four click OK it'll ask to confirm you want this program to make changes to Mac so just enter in your password now that's up and running now if I just load up Hippo Remote on my phone, I find under the detected computers it has Dario's Mini Mac. Select it, type in the same passcode, one, two, three, four. I think I got that right. And now it's connected. And now I can drag my mouse cursor around, open and close programs, close it down, and again go onto websites like YouTube, show you the um keyboard working and exactly the same <clears throat> as it worked on the PC and there you go now it's installed on your Mac